This is the second day on my 15 day tour to Nepal uh, to complete the Annapurna base camp trek. Uh, and this was, this occurred in March, 2019. So this morning starts nice and early due to the change in time zones. Sydney is a little bit ahead of Kathmandu. So I'm able to have a sleep in without really getting a sleep in, which is fantastic. Uh, the sunrise is absolutely beautiful and I'm able to view that from the window of my hotel room. I get dressed and head down to the dining area for breakfast, which consists mostly of buffalo sausages, fried potatoes, curry vegetables, and there was something else. I think it was like a bacon or a ham, but it really didn't taste like bacon or ham so I'm not quite sure what it was um, but it was all delicious and one of my favorite things about traveling is trying out new food so today the local tour company uh, that Webjet used outfitted Nepal um, they organized a tour for the city but before it starts I head out to the streets of Tamil just to you know soak up the atmosphere a little bit um, I also need to exchange some foreign currency so um, Australian dollars are readily exchanged you don't need to exchange from Australian to US so you can exchange to the Nepali rupee that's fine you can just um, straight exchange Australian dollars um, and I also wanted to pick up a sim card so I'm able to send uh, messages home easily the streets of Tamil are alive with people, even though most of the stores are still closed at this hour. So soon enough, it's time to go back to the hotel to await pickup. Before we head off on the sightseeing tour, we meet our guide, Sadeep, for the trek. He goes through all the relevant information with us, as well as supplying maps of the Annapurna region, um, which I just want to pour over because I love maps. Um, there are seven people... Uh, on this trek there are five of us Australians and there's two from the US as well so we head off um, in our van that's been organized for us the first stop on the sightseeing tour is Durba Square and I'm so excited to be visiting here as I've seen so many videos of it and I just want to immerse myself in the city um, and also because it is a UNESCO site and I can tick it off my list uh, firstly, we go to the Kumari Ga to see the goddess Kumari. This is a newer child that's been selected uh, as an incarnation of goddess Talaju. And I'm sorry if I get the pronunciations wrong. Um, if she shows her face, you aren't actually allowed to photograph her. So, and we were very lucky today as she did come to the window and everyone had the opportunity to see her. So after we've left here, uh, we go outside and we walk past a few temples that have been severely damaged uh, in the 2015 earthquake. And it is it's just so devastating to see history in ruins and not just history, beautiful architecture and um, just the, the vision that um, people in the past had for this area. Um, and just to see it in ruins is it's really sad so we do walk around and have a look at the amazing buildings and temples uh, the Jagannath temple uh, actually has erotic carvings um, in the wood which was actually really quite a surprise um, wasn't expecting that but all good um, so after we check out the Jagannath temple which is coming up in a second if I turn around turn around ah there it is there uh, so after we've had a really good look uh, at this particular temple uh, we head into the old palace which is I'm pretty sure part of that white building just there so even though a lot of these buildings have been damaged you can still see their beauty so once we go into the palace uh, our guide tells us all about the political history of Nepal so these are things that I weren't aware of and it was very interesting and the country has had some political turmoil so 
um, you know, it was it was just really interesting to to hear about how they've gone from a monarchy um, to a oh, I don't know if it's a democracy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all um, it was just all interesting nonetheless. So after we've been here for a little while and checked out the amazing buildings and architecture, we walk through the streets to where our van will pick us up and then we're heading off to the next sightseeing stop which is Swayambunath and I'm sorry if I've massacred that um, but it's also otherwise known as the monkey temple anyway and I'll leave it here and this is just part one of day two because um, yeah we got to see some really really cool things um, on the sightseeing tour.